Hello, everybody. My name is International Master Mark Plotkin. I usually go by Little Plotkin, and this is going to be my first YouTube video. I'm actually so excited because I've always been thinking about doing something on YouTube. I've been streaming a lot, but this is going to be my first time posting something on YouTube. I'm very excited. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and please comment in terms of what you'd want to see in future videos. Today, I want to show you one of my favorite games. It was a bullet match that I had about three weeks ago against my good friend, Lafon Kua. He's a FIDE master, and he actually helped run a lot of tournaments in Montreal. And I played in a few of them. He's a great guy. But we're going to take a look at one of my games. And it was a casual game that we played on his stream. And in my eyes, it's probably one of the best bullet games I've ever played. And so why don't we take a look at it together? We start off with the move E4. I'm playing white. And if you turn into the VOD that he, was, that he had, you'll see that the majority of the conversation was all trash talk and I was distracting him. Now, I played c3. This is called the Alapin or the c3 Sicilian. Most people usually go out with knight f3. Knight c3 is also a move, bishop c4. A lot of people like the Smith Mora, but I tried to play something solid against Lafon, just going for the center. The point of c3 is even though I'm blocking this knight from getting to c3, the goal is for me to go d4, trying to capture the center. So he plays knight f6. This is one of the most common responses. I kick his knight out with e5, he moves his knight, I take the center, and now development for me is simple. Knight f3 is one of the moves another option is taking. There's also another move here with bishop c4. There's a lot of good options here. So I take, I play knight f3 holding onto the pawn. He develops, I play bishop c4. Now in this moment, I had already realized that I had made a mistake. I mean, it's obviously it's a bullet game, but this move order is not precise because black could just simply take the pawn and now he has three attacking pieces on my pawn. And if I take back, he can just simply go bishop g4. And this is not something that you want to allow because now this pawn on e5 becomes a weakness. It becomes a problem. He's able to create this painful pin and now knight e5 is coming and now I'm going to be in a lot of problem. So I decide to simply bring my bishop back here. But he actually has the same idea with bishop g4 and so I decide here to simply sacrifice this pawn on d4. If he takes with the queen, which is what he does, I'm able to take giving him an isolated pawn I castle, and now I'm in a huge lead in development. His queen is in the center of the board, his knight is misplaced, but I'm going to go develop quickly and try to show that I actually have true compensation for the pawn. He plays e6. This is a good move for me because he blocks his bishop. Obviously, his goal is just to develop and castle, but for me, I'm way ahead of him. I develop the knight, I develop my rook. Now, he can't castle right now because I have this beautiful discovered check. Bishop takes h7, hitting his king on g8. If he takes, I just simply take the queen and I'm just up a piece, I'm completely winning. Uh, sorry, up a queen and completely winning. Instead, he plays, he brings his queen back, tries to bring his queen to safety, just the castle. Okay, so I play queen f3, putting some pressure on the pawn. He defends it with knight d5. Now he wants to trade. And one of the basic rules of chess is when you're down material, you don't want to trade. But in this position, I don't have to be afraid of knight c3 because of queen takes c6, right? And that wins this pawn. So he castled. I pushed my rook, he played bishop f6, just developing his pieces, and now I started going to the attack. I played knight e4. The goal is to go after this bishop and to start putting pressure on his king side. He ignores me, he plays queen b6, and I already think this is a big mistake. He totally, totally forgets about what I'm trying to do here. So I simply take, and now I have bishop c3. My bishops are lining up on these open diagonals going after my opponent's king. Queen g3 is now going to be a huge threat. It's going to be hard for him to choose the right set of moves to play here. He brings his knight back, and this is where the most beautiful idea comes in. Now, this so far has been looking like an average bullet game. You're like, okay, nothing too special. You just sacked a pawn for some compensation. But what you're going to see here is probably one of the most beautiful moves I've ever played in my life. And it's bishop takes h7. The point is, he has to take. If he doesn't, his king is incredibly exposed. He takes, now I go queen h5. Bring a new piece into the game with tempo. He brings his king back. I go bishop takes g7, threatening a maiden one. And simply going like this is no good. I'll take the rook. The material is even, and his king is going to be very weak. So he takes my bishop, and now I have a mate in just a few moves. I go queen g5, force his king to the side of the board, and now it's all about bringing one more piece in to deliver checkmate. So I go rook e4 with the idea of mate. He stops it with his queen, but I can just take it. And the great thing about this position is I have another rook that can come in, and now maiden one is unstoppable. He plays f5, and I play rook h4, and it's just checkmate. There you go. Not a long game, not at all. It's probably like a 27 move game, just under 30 moves. And for me, it's 
my most favorite game, my most favorite bullet game, and it only happened three weeks ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a short video, nothing too long. Tell me if you liked it, if you hated it, if you want to see something different. What are your thoughts of the game? Would you have played something different? Please let me know in the comments section below. Okay, everyone, take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.